members of the presidency, authorities, distinguished guests. Of course, I'm deeply honored to have been selected for this award and deeply thankful to the distinguished computer scientists who have commented so favorably on my work. I'm also delighted to be receiving the award in Spain since I've been a longtime fan of the concept of siesta. And, and I love the Spanish language, especially the word mañana. <clears throat> Occasionally in past years, I've been asked to reflect on my life's work taken as a whole, and my response has always been to regard it as a mixture of two main themes, theory and practice. <clears throat> I've devoted considerable time to humanity's ongoing quest for rigorous mathematical underpinnings by which the fundamental ideas of computer science can be better understood and advanced. <clears throat> and I've also devoted roughly the same amount of time to the practical application of those theories by writing computer programs that many people have found useful in their daily work. <clears throat> the best theories are inspired by natural problems that arise in practice. The best practice is informed by theoretical results that quantify how much can be achieved by various methods. So there's a wonderful positive feedback loop with theory grounded in practice and practice optimized by theory. <clears throat> However, when I learned about the BBVA Foundation's award and was asked to prepare these brief remarks, it struck me that my life's work has in fact been characterized also by an important third dimension, namely fun. My story is really best understood as a blend of theory, practice, and fun. In fact, <clears throat> my, theory, my theoretical work has been driven by intellectual curiosity, by a compulsion to answer intriguing questions that seem to have begged for answers. And I've also experienced a thrill whenever I've been able to train a computer to produce beautiful patterns of numbers or, or images. It's enormously exciting to imagine how electrons dance inside of a machine when it is performing computations. So it seems to me that the joy of such so-called aha moments is what really li lies behind all scientific discoveries and advances in technology. <clears throat> this realization came to me a few months ago when I completed a book called Selected Papers on Fun and Games because I discovered to my surprise that that book meant more to me personally than any of the other volumes that contain my papers on more traditional aspects of theory and practice. <clears throat> Today, I want also to highlight the continuous encouragement and joy that I've received from my wife, Jill, who's in the audience. Nine days from now, she and I will in fact be celebrating our golden anniversary after 50 years of wedded bliss. Those 50 years have certainly been for me a magnificent mixture of theory, practice, and fun, for which I'm profoundly grateful. Thank you.